If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. According to Elon Musk and evidence of increased activity surrounding Starhopper, the first hop test of the Starhopper will happen within the next 24 hours, 36 hours if weather complicates things. The first test will be tiny 20 meter hop to test single Raptor engine. If all goes well, the more important test of much larger hop up to 5,000 meters could happen sometimes in mid-August as additional two Raptor engines are installed into Starhopper. As this Starhopper is about to start its first hop test, SpaceX is finishing structural exterior work on two orbital starships. Both orbital test starships should be completed by mid to late August, with engine integration in mid to late September and ready for major unveiling to the world in early October during the International Aeronautical Congress in Washington, D.C. Okay, some of you may wonder what the heck is a Starhopper? and what is actually happening with the SpaceX right now. Okay, let me clarify a few things. SpaceX is currently developing a Mars rocket, better known as Starship and Super Heavy. This might be in due course renamed into something else, probably a Falcon Starship or Falcon Super Heavy. But until such time, we are referring to these two rockets as Starship and Super Heavy. Originally, SpaceX announced its plan for Mars in 2016 and unveiled to the world its first concept, Mars Colonial Transport, a 118 meter tall rocket that was soon renamed into ITS or Interplanetary Transport Systems in 2017. Not happy with a new name, Elon Musk renamed this into BFR or Big Falcon Rocket in 2018. In late 2018 again, cause of confusion, Elon Musk renamed BFR into Simple, Starship and Super Heavy. First of all, I would like to thank all of my subscribers, but above all, the Patreon supporters and fans of my channel for your massive support. Anyone likes what I do, please consider supporting me through Patreon. It really helps. Also, check out my YouTube community page tab and join the conversation. You can also suggest topics for a future video. I would also like to thank Casper Bertasel for his generous donation towards my channel. Thank you very much. Okay, but what is being built and tested in Boca Chica, you might wonder? Well, this is a smaller version of Starship, aptly named Starhopper. Starhopper will be used to test Starship concept using only one Raptor engine at first, and eventually three Raptor engines will be installed. What is Raptor engine, you might wonder? Raptor engine is a new rocket engine being developed by SpaceX that will power Starship and Super Heavy. So what is being built in Florida? This is the first SpaceX orbital Starship test vehicle. One of two such vehicles that are being built by SpaceX. Both will be used to test the concept and accumulate necessary amount of experience and expertise in attaining all important manned spaceflight certificates SpaceX will need for future manned missions beyond Earth. This will be second Starhopper test, last being in early April, which saw Starhopper power up with early indication that Raptor engines didn't perform as expected. Vibration issues have delayed Starhopper testing phase by a few months, as by now this should have concluded by original schedule. However, it is important for Raptor engines to perform at its best and any issue with the engines are discovered ahead of any major flight test, as this might lead to far more consequential issues for SpaceX than just failed tests. So tomorrow, the Starhopper will perform first and third flight test, which if successful, will lead to more elaborate tests in late July or early to mid-August. The test could see Starhopper hop to high altitude. One plan for tomorrow will see short hovering tests of around 20 to 22 meters for a few seconds and land back on the landing pad. This could perhaps be repeated a few times to make sure all systems perform as designed. The more complex test will require more than single Raptor engine that will be used for the tomorrow's test. SpaceX plans to add two brand new Raptor engines to one just integrated into Starhopper. With three Raptor engines, Starhopper will be capable of remaining in the air for a few minutes, attain much higher altitude. Starhopper is cleared for 5,000 meters, so SpaceX might attempt more complex hops up to 4,500 meters, something in mid to late September. 
If all goes well, SpaceX will execute short hop test. SpaceX current government license, which the Federal Communication Commission granted in February 2019, only permits the company to launch experimental vehicles to an altitude of 5 km for flights lasting up to 6 minutes. Musk tweeted in March that SpaceX is working on a regulatory approval for orbital flight test of Starship prototypes from both Texas and Florida. The company plans to launch the prototypes in orbit around Earth before the end of 2020. Then in 2023, Musk hopes to use full-scale Starship to launch a Japanese billionaire and his hand-picked crew of artists on a voyage around the moon. SpaceX president and chief operating officer Gwen Shotwell reportedly said that the company hopes to send its first uncrewed payload to Mars by 2024. Following that, perhaps, in 2026, SpaceX may try to put boots on the red planet. I would like to take the opportunity to express my gratitude to all of you, my subscribers, but in particular to Dawn of Spaceship a fellow subscriber and highly talented and kind supporter of my channel. He 3D printed a model of Starship and Super Heavy for me. With such great detail and accuracy, I am literally lost for words. His channel is Dawn of Spaceship, where he talks about stuff like SpaceX, Starship, but also other stuff that might be of great interest to you all. The link is in the description. Please check out his channel and consider subscribing to him. He certainly deserves all your support. Thank you.